Crafty Friends. Hello, everybody. I'm coming on today to do a project, a process video, with this beautiful paper collection made by Melody Made and Jenny Wren. And the name of the paper is Be Beautiful, and it's a Jindy kit. And this um, hashtag is is sponsored by Melody, I mean by Mimi with Love. That's all these M's. They are whirling around in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so this is hashtag MM Dream Team. And we were given the opportunity to work with this paper. And um, we do a process video and then we do a project share. So for, I've already made a project. But for my process share, I'm going to kind of show you how I make cards sometimes. So anyway, um, of course it's bee paper, and it's beautiful paper. And so I have this honeycomb um, die cut, and so I used it. And so this is, this is the template for the rest of my cards that I'm going to put together, okay? So I have cut all these elements, and I have cut them in, um, you know, one for each card. And all the fronts of them won't be exactly the same, but I will be using all the same elements. So, and I had these beautiful bees, and I thought, oh yeah, those are going to be great on there. So, um, I have all my pieces cut out over here of everything. So, I have three of, of everything, and, um, and I'm just going to start playing. So, the insides of the cards will all be the same. I'm going to use this with a lined paper, and then this, um, it's kind of like a charcoal, and it has a flocked dot on it, and I thought that was just sweet as it could be with that. So, that's this is what will be on the inside. And then for the outside of my cards, I chose this barn wood in this gray, because I just loved it with this paper and the bees. So, one at a time, we're going to do these, and I'll show y'all. So I feel like I have, you know, these fun elements that I, I'm working with. And, you know, like I said, it can go on there any kind of a way. And so what I usually do is I start putting something down and then, you know, and then I'll go from there. So, and I want to make them a little, each one of them a little different. So, you know, I'm just going to get my glue and I'm just going to go at it so y'all can so y'all can see that you don't have to there's no recipe that you have to follow you know and I'm going to put that on their wonky so don't be afraid to do that because you know wonky wonky makes things interesting wonky doesn't yeah. have to wonky doesn't have to be an accident Yep, that's right. That is the truth. Whether she wants, whether she intends to or not, you know? So, and another thing that I like to do is when I'm gluing things on, I like to glue them so that they are not, so I have to cut around them. I don't know why I like to do that, but I do. So, I'm just going to... Put a generous amount of glue on here and slap this down. Like that. Okay. Then we have this piece of honeycomb. And who I want to. I think I want to put it up there. Now, so you can just kind of dot your glue on your honeycomb and you know, it's this glue is strong enough that it will hold it on there. So, so we're putting that on there like that, mashing it down, and then I've got my be happy, and I have I have. Uh, stacked it up twice and it is on adhesive um, so I got a little place right here I gotta poke out 
And even though it's on adhesive, I like to still put some glue on it because, you know, that adhesive, you just never know. Sometimes it might stick and then sometimes it might not. So we're gonna make sure that it does. And I think I want this Be Happy to be over here. And so these are charms and all I did was cut the loop part off of the top of this so that um, it looks like his little antenna. And I'm gonna glue them on with some E6000 because I want to make sure that he stays. And I'm going to put him right there. Okay. Now. Now I'm going to take my big scissors and just flip this over and trim the excess off. Like so. And there is you another card. And then I have two other pieces I can use as well. So, I'm going to take my, my insides. It has the lines on it. Put my glue on there. I'll ball it, mash it down on there good, and then do this one the same way. And now here's a card that you can use for any kind of occasion. A hello, you know. All right, so here's, now we got two of them going. Oh, how you doing? That's right. So I'm going to make these two. I'm going to use the pieces. Okay. So I'm going to. I'm going to cut along some of these lines. Just like that. I'm going to glue that on there. And the reason I wanted to make cards for this project is another thing. I find so many times, and Bestie and I talk about this all the time. And you know, I started out making cards. So to me, card making is just like, I don't know, you just sit down and you do it. But so many crafters don't make their own cards. And they they like have a, a thing about cards that that scares them or or I don't know. I just have a, have a thing. And um, and I think that's such a shame because as creative as everybody is in every other arena, you know, a little card ain't nothing. It's just a little piece. If you like ATCs, well, all a card is is a, is a five and a half by four and a quarter ATC. You know? It's all in the way... Yep. It's just littler. Just go by the same kind of thing and you'll be fine and dandy. Yep. Like a hard Amen there. I think I'll put this a little cockeyed right there. Right. And now he's gonna be down here. Cuteness. Alright. Let's put our background for our inside. 
And when I started, I didn't put anything on the inside. Sometimes I would stamp a sentiment. And then I started noticing how beautiful you can make the inside of your car and how you can carry on your theme. Yeah. And so it's a treat when you get, when you open the card up, I mean, when you take it out of the envelope, and then it's another treat when you open it up. And I think that's so cool. All right, there's one. Now, our last one. I oh, better put the top back on that A6000. I'll be buzzing like a bee. <laughs> Okay, maybe for this one, maybe I'll use these two pieces. Even though, like I said, I had everything cut out like it, like I could, I could have made them all exactly the same. But I don't ever like to do that. To me, it, it takes, <clears throat> excuse me, it takes the fun out of it. When I was making, you know, a hundred cards a, a week for church. I just, uh, I'm going to cut this piece in half this time. I, I never made two alike. I just couldn't do it. It, it. it, like, took the personal part out of it, you know? So. I've done it a couple of times, but I don't, I don't usually do that. Yeah. Either. Yeah. I mean, I well, you know, you find your flow. If you like to do a bunch of them the same, you know, do you? But for me, it takes it makes it monotonous. And you know, when you're doing something that you love to do, you don't want to take your joy out of it. You know, you want to just create and and let happen. What what somebody asked uh, the other day in one of my comments, they said, "Do you always have a plan?" Okay, generally never. Do I have a plan? Uh -huh. You can ask Bestie. I'm like, yeah. and I told her the other day, we were talking about the Mary Poppins collab, and um, I said, you know, I like to I like to look at a lot of things. I like to think about a lot of things. And then something will spark. And when, yeah. and when I, when I, and you know when that something sparks. And when you know it and you feel it, if you just go with it, I mean, I think those are the best projects because it's coming from your heart you know and it's fun it is fun Never, ever. so put him right there Let's put the inside on this one. And I know a lot of these ladies make um, junk journals, and I can't wait to see the beautiful things that they do. And, you know, Melody, she's a collage. She she is just, Bessie and I were talking about her last night, is it how inspirational, you know, how you can just sit and watch her and be like, man, that woman makes magic right there in front of your eyes. And, uh, well, you know, what a... Master at yeah, what a what a gift that is to to all of us who watch her and everybody who gets her work. Alrighty, so there are four cards, alike but different, and I think I think the use of the paper, I really I like it. You know, I feel like I used I used the kind with the lines, I used some with the bees, I used the pieces of paper. Um, yeah, and so then the rest of it I used on my project that I'm going to show you for next week. So, y'all stay tuned, follow the hashtags, um, there will be a link, a list of ladies in the description box below, and y'all follow along and check out the, um, there's a link where you can get this paper, and check out Melody's Patreon account, and, um, yeah, and y'all just enjoy. And if you don't know these ladies, you know, f subscribe to them. Just go visit them, and you will subscribe to them. Because they're, they're good people. They're talented artists. They're kind. You know, everything you want your friends to be. So, 
There you go, and there you have it. <laughs> there okay, is be beautiful. All right, we will see you guys in a week with my other project. Okay, I love you guys. And thank you, Melody and Jen. This is beautiful, and it was so much fun to create with. So much fun. All right, and thank you, Melissa, for hosting this. All right, love you guys. Blessings. Bye -bye.